Well, good morning guys and welcome back to another one. We don't really have a plan today. Oh, happy Friday by the way, whenever you're watching this. Today is Friday. We don't really have a plan today, but Jen and I were feeling kind of down the last couple of days. So we decided to go get a little self-esteem boost. So we decided to come to Walmart. All right, we are done in Walmart. Our self-esteem is through the roof and it can't get any higher. Nevertheless, I'm sitting outside a Superstore. Jen is inside Superstore getting some sinus medication. I've been barred from spending any more money. I had to wait in a vehicle. Reason for that is I have wanted a two burner Coleman stove that runs on propane for a long, long time. Uh, mostly for, you know, making videos, going somewhere and doing a little, not camping, but an outdoor breakfast, an outdoor dinner. But I made the mistake of saying that I wanted it for the duck blind, which I do want it for the duck blind, but nevertheless, I would pick it up, I'd put it back. I'd pick it up, I'd put it back. I'd ride around the car for a while, I'd put it back. Well, today, I bought it. $79, two burner, Coleman stove, runs on propane, which is exactly what I wanted. Sunday morning, Ella and I and Jen will be heading down to the river, down at the government dock, and we're gonna cook some bacon and eggs and some hash browns. We'll see how that goes. The next morning hunt that we do out of the duck blind, we're gonna have some fresh bacon and eggs there too. Nevertheless, I've been barred from spending any more money, and we got another store to get to. We gotta go over to Home Depot, we gotta exchange some paint. Oh, Jen's gotta exchange the paint. She may even make me wait in the car. That wouldn't be very nice at a Home Depot make me wait in a car. Oh, before we get to Home Depot. The shelves in Walmart were bare. I mean, well, I shouldn't say bare. They weren't empty. There were a lot of empty shelves. There was some food on the shelves, but there was a lot of empty shelves. We all know what's going on there. Um, there's just some things you just can't get. And I took some video of that. Have a look. So I shot that with my iPhone only because I didn't want to be walking around with this camera, but a lot of empty shelves, a lot of bare shelves, and Jen noticed right off the bat the price of everything is up. Again, we all know the reason for that too, don't we? But we ended up getting some groceries, some canned goods and whatnot. And like I said, we're not gonna run over to Home Depot. We're gonna exchange some paint. And we're gonna head back home. That's what happens when I don't have a plan. It costs me money, but I get good stuff. Well, we just made it back home. Had to go to the studio and do a little bit of business stuff. When you got two German Shepherds, and we don't have a small backyard, but we got, it's not overly large. <clears throat> when you got two German Shepherds, and it had just rained solid for three days, that's what happens when your wife thinks it's a good idea to let them outside. Look at my yard. Look under the trampoline all over holy car holy cow now some of this is my fault because over here is where the shed sat and i've just dirt underneath that's why i've got all this stuff laying out here kind of like block like that's going to stop these guys from going over there no but axel and diesel hadn't been outside well they've been outside but they've been on a leash um for the past couple of days and uh, Jen decided to let them out. The end result is they tore us a new mud hole. Oh well, it is what it is. So I just came back from taking them both for a walk and they got mud balls all over my deck coming off to brush my deck. Sweep my deck, not brush my deck. You brush your teeth and your hair, you don't brush your deck. Sweep your deck. Stand by. Well, 
Well, that's going to do it. It's good enough. It would appear these guys got into the tomatoes. Funny thing is, our tomatoes haven't stopped. We've been getting with tomatoes. We're uh, nearing the end of October. Getting cold out. You see, we're wearing hoodies all the time now. But have a look what's still on the tomato plants. Look at here. Still giving me tomatoes. Absolutely love them. Look at them all. We uh, come over here to the peppers. We still got lots of pepper plants. All kinds of pepper plants. Still got hot peppers. Look at them all. All kinds of them. A few more fresh out of the garden. I don't recall ever getting vegetables like that this late in the year. I think there's six tomato plants in there. Again, if you've seen my past videos, none of them were beefsteaks, unfortunately. I did harvest some tomato seeds, so we will have our own tomatoes being planted for next year. But Jesus, we got a couple more warm days. All of these green ones are going to be ripe. And I should tell you, Jen's been making tomato sauce, tomato paste, marinara sauce, tomato juice. we got all kinds of stuff that we don't have to buy because nature keeps giving us tomatoes. So clearly there was not a whole lot going on today. I'm not sure where that's from. Clearly there wasn't a whole lot going on today. We just went to go get some groceries at Walmart. And uh, as you saw, the shelves were, let's say scarce, and the prices were, let's say, high. Or higher. But that may be a sign of the times, folks. I have no idea, but... Well, I have lots of ideas. I just don't share them here. You all pretty much know where I stand. So anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Ran around with us a little bit. Chat them. Just a normal day. Not a whole lot to do. Went and uh, got some free self-esteem. Mightied up backyard. Vegetable garden keeps giving, though. Because that's always a plus. I don't have to do now, but order pizza. Let's order pizza. Catch you all in the next one. Later. Yes, it is. People look at you talking to a camera. Say, hello, hey.